Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jody, Screen Door Girl 3, and it's July 16th, and boy is it hot. We're having a hot, hot summer here in New Jersey. So I wanted to share some of my summer craft uh, decorating, my shell tree, and just wanted to share, I know that you know that I live in New Jersey, but I grew up in Brooklyn, and you may or may not know that Brooklyn has lots of beaches. <laughs> Um, you might not think of that when you think of Brooklyn, but I grew up on the, as a teenager. I lived on the beach and uh, I went to Coney Island. You might have heard of Coney Island in Brooklyn. Um, went to Coney Island and um, there's a lot of beaches in Brooklyn. So um, the ocean has always been a part of me. I, I don't think that I could live away from the ocean. Um, just a portion of New Jersey. But anyway, let's get on with it about my shells. I love to, in summer, I decorate with shells and you know, shell things. And this tree I made a couple of years ago. Um, I've had it a little while and it stood up really nice. It's just a styrofoam uh, cone. And I got the shells from a great website. It's called shell C, C shell city com. Say that three times fast. And it's really cool because they show, they have small shells, medium shells, and they show it next to a quarter. <laughs> so you can get an idea of the size of the shell. So I think I ordered a bunch of medium and a bunch of small, but you could figure that out. SeashellCity.com, they go a long way. They really come nicely and you won't find these shells in Brooklyn, but <laughs> makes me think of the ocean. So anyway, it's real simple. Um, this one I started, as you can see, I left it here. And um, this one I added some sea glass, which was kind of fun. And it's like a puzzle. You just kind of hot glue is the order of the day and you just um, hot glue them on and figure out which fits better and it's kind of fun and relaxing as a lot of things crafts are and like I said you just go round and round and round and then with this one I, if I had a space where you could kind of see the foam I filled it in with these teeny weeny little shells and those will come with the if you order the small ones or if you have small shells and then of course my mind started running away with itself and I had these left from a science project. <laughs> My daughter had to make a cell of some kind uh, project. So I had these, so I thought maybe I would cover these with the shells. So that was kind of fun. But this one I found the flat ones worked a little nicely and then it kind of finds its best place that it likes to rest. But same thing, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. You figure it out as you go along. But that was kind of cool sitting next to the big tree. And I'll finish this one and put it like that. And um, the sea glass I love. Maybe you, you collect sea glass. These are, this is my real sea glass collection that I actually collected myself. And there, it's been tumbled from the sand and the ocean. And it's really nice. The edges just get real smooth. And mostly they're beer bottles. And so most of them are green. Or this dark blue is kind of a rare one. And um, brown. But it's kind of fun when you when you searching for shells and, and sea glass. You kind of just walk along the shore and um, you get excited when you see a piece of sea glass. So um, that's my seashell decorations, my tree. And I don't really find it Christmassy. I don't know if you take it out of the context of Christmas. I really display it more for a summer um, decoration. And like I said, it kind of reminds me of the ocean and uh, growing up around the ocean. And I love the ocean. So, um, what else? That's about it. Ch check out SeashellCity.com. And um, I'm going to put this on my Pinterest board. Or maybe I'll put it on Sweet Summer. And um, that's it. Thanks for listening to me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.